this is Glenda with AKA GK Fraylon, a friendly community, and I welcome you. We welcome you. If you've ever left YouTube on, and the television on and go to another room, you're hearing these mishmash of vocalizations. That's the word I'm looking for because you're not really understanding the words, but you're hearing this and you don't know who's saying what. <laughs> anyway, it became very comical to me. When I came out, well, I, I realized, I knew the Property Brothers were on, and I, I usually do enjoy that show. But there was this doctor on talking about all of these parasites that humans can get. And, all, and then, the, <laughs> it just, and he's got a very bass voice, and so do the Property Brothers. And so I've got these bits of information that are intermingling and uh, who knows what went into my subconscious. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> you just got to think about it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you guys got into quite a discussion today about um, yesterday's words or whatever it was anyway. Carla said something about anoles or an annals or something, and I had no idea what that was. And um, so I went and looked it up. It's a lizard. <laughs> and I guess some kids, do, some people do keep the little green ones as pets, or maybe they keep other colors as pets too. I don't know. But it's it's a lizard, and it's got kind of a waddle for probably. It looks like what a. a frog has when they <laughs> but I don't know if that's what it's used for I didn't read up on it that much and Glenda was saying that her grandson I think had a sand boa and it only came out of the sand when it was needed to be fed I've never handled a boa and I have never touched a anole that I know of or an animal whatever it is but I have held a snake before and I used to try to catch the little brown lizards in the creek. And I often caught the frogs and the toads. That's when I was a kid. <laughs> On a farm. Anyway, I talk about being a farm kid a lot. And it's not because I think city kids aren't, I mean, shoot, you know, my kids, they're town kids. They're not, well, town. Yeah, small town kids, they're not. But anyway, it's just because of where I grew up was so gorgeous. I mean, we were miles from about anybody, you know. And uh, there were times when that could be a pain. Um, I know when mom was close to having a baby, she was close to due date that they went and stayed in town, especially the last couple, because she was getting to the point where she was having them pretty quickly. <laughs> By the time she got to five and six, I think. Anyway. But no, a pastor of ours had a pet snake. But he was, he said the one he had was a... I can't remember what kind he said it was, but it was the kind that's recommended to have if you're going to have a pet snake. He wasn't going to, he, he didn't want it. But I held it, and they're, you know, they're not slimy. They're not, you know, they're just kind of creepy, I guess, if you want to think of them that way, in the fact that they do creep. <laughs> they creep a little on the ground. Anyway, I used to play with little ringnecks all the time. If any of you know what a ringneck is, it's a little dinky snake about this big. 
maybe this big. And it's teeny tiny. About looks like a worm, except that it's got a red ring around its neck, and it's got the um, the more streamlined look than a worm has, I guess. But anyway, so <laughs> and I bet you, you guys at some point picked up a frog or something, or who knows. Maybe you didn't. But I bet when you were kids, before you knew to be afraid of something, would I go pick up a snake now? I guess it would depend on if I knew if it was there or if I knew what it was. I mean, a garter snake hanging around in, a ba in my basement and I don't want it there. I don't know if I'd kill it or, well, I'd probably kill it because otherwise I would never catch it. <laughs> But I think I, you know, if the lizard's kind of clean and hasn't been pooping all over the place, I'd probably or running around in the Because these days I have to be a little more careful about germs. But I don't know. I always was a tomboy. I do know a lot of boys and girls who would not touch a snake. My husband, never. Mm -mm. Not on your life. <laughs> he might, he has had to kill one before that got into a neighbor's yard, big old black snake. Or it was hanging out on their sidewalk or sunning or something anyway. They were just petrified and so he took the hoe and he got rid of the snake. <laughs> But he did, he was creep, kind of creeped out. It, it depends on what you're used to. I grew up around the darn things. I mean, it, when we were in the big old Victorian, that I, there's a picture that I showed. You know, when, I, when we lived in that thing, it had a big back porch, a big um, long wooden back porch. And I remember one time going out there, and I'll bet there were half a dozen bull snakes and black snakes just laying out their sun and on that porch. And mom did not want us opening that door because she was afraid they'd go slinking in the house. But um, thought that snakes didn't get in houses. They did. They do. <laughs> if they can find us, if they can find a place to get in, they will. Anyway, but... Um, most people don't have a problem with them. They don't really like us that much, I don't think. They just like our warm, you know, they just like to find someplace warm. And so, anyway, but uh, spiders, eh. I grew up around wolf spiders. I hate those things. Dad gum things, they'd be, they'd go around with these little baby things on their back, and it looked like they were all... You know, it looked like they maybe were getting a winter coat of fur and you'd swat them and these little babies go everywhere. <laughs> Not pleasant. <laughs> and then there's the ones that hide and, you know. I'm not particularly petrified of spiders or bugs, but I don't like having them around. I will get rid of them. <laughs> anyway, so... Would I hold an anoli? I don't know. I've never seen one. But I now found out what it is. Would I own a boa? Nope. <laughs> Nor a tarantula either. <laughs> anyway, I just got to had I kind of have to have some fun with you because for one thing I had to do some learning or had to go do some research to find out what that thing was, and it's a lizard, so I wasn't so creeped out then. I had no idea. It could have been a it could have been a rodent for all I knew. I mean, but anyway, now that I know what it is, oh uh, well. But I had to have fun with you guys. <laughs> it just isn't today if I don't have some fun with you. So anyway. 
I got something a little more serious coming up. Catch you later. We're in a season of Thanksgiving. And a lot of the time we don't think about being thankful. But we all, at this time of year, we think about what we're thankful for, who we're thankful to. I have written a poem. And I'm going to read it. A praise sent by way of a thank you lifts a prayer to an eternal ear. The meek and humble servant's words are heard over the loudest and most boisterous. Oh, thank you for my riches that I am not a pauper like the wretch in the back pew, said the haughty man loudly in the sanctuary of the Most High. The man in the back whispers, thank you for my pennies. I've begged on the streets for my family will dine tonight. Oh, haughty, boastful one. Who do you think is blessed? Are you the most receptive for never working for your wealth? Or the pauper who stands on the street corners when no job is available? Think man before you put your nose above your eyes or you blind yourself to the wonder of the simplest man's struggle which earns him a front seat at his humble table, and a smile from his Savior who blesses him in the highest realm. Thank you for joining in our community tonight. If you do, if you've liked anything you've seen um, and you would like to have notifications, please click on the subscribe button and then that little bell down there will notify you whenever um, another one of our videos comes up. And don't remember, I'm not just, it's, I say we because I'm just the face on the screen. The community that I'm part of and that anybody else who wants to be is part of is the comments or what's, you know, it's the exchange below. <laughs> I only say below because it happens to be down below my videos. So anyway, um, thank you for joining us. And for those who are routinely watching. I'm glad you do. And whoever's out there, give me a thumbs up. I like those things. Other than that, it's time for me to say good night. Tomorrow is another day. So, hasta mañana. I know that's not pronounced correctly because I pronounced it in a weird voice, but who cares? Good night.